Hello everyone, good afternoon. Okay, so this is just a, a very quick one. So I just want to use um, Bokola Ajibwe's um, blocks to explain certain things. So for, for I've already corrected Bokola's block. The chest level, everybody should use four to five centimeters above the bust line for the chest level. This chest level, I hope you can see my cursor so okay so that's that so i talked about blocking blocking happens by now everybody that i have corrected their patterns um should know what blocking means by now so blocking happens when your armhole circumference both back and front measurement is too much so you would already see it on your on your front block your cross chest will look smaller on the pattern. However, you must confirm first that you've accurately taken the measurement on the individual and you've applied it on your pattern. Now, blocking happens not because you did not accurately take the across chest or across back as the case may be accurately. It happens because some, so for, for some people, they have a smaller across chest but big bust i have a client with small shoulder but she has a very massive bust that's how our figure is and pattern the beauty of pattern is it brings out once you've accurately taken an individual's measurement it brings out how that person looks the look the actual look of that person that's what pattern does it will bring it out on paper for you so you'll be able to see then you need you decide whether you need to do some pattern alteration or not okay so blocking i hope that is clear about blocking so if you don't block if your across chest is too small like i've seen on some of your some of your submissions then if you don't block it, by the time you do a test fit, we will be, people will be seeing your side bust. So you need to cover it. You need to add to it. And in the process of blocking, it adds to your across chest, which makes it correspond to, to, your, to, the, to the size of your bust. So you need to, if, you, if you're not clear, please listen to this again. Rewind it and, you know, listen to it again. If your across chest is small, some people's across chest is small, is smaller than their bust size. So this is why they need to block. It's not their fault, it's how they look. But it's your duty to correct the pattern, which is why I have introduced blocking. So if you don't block it, your ammo will be too, the ammo circumference will be too big. And by the time you make, let's say, for example, um, a sleeveless top, you'll be, people will be seeing the side of your bust, your bra, everything will be out. So you need to cover it. That's the essence of um, blocking. Okay. Even if you're adding sleeve, if you don't block before adding sleeve, it invariably, it means there is a shortage on your body's block. Now, if you create a sleeve and add it to that block that has shortage, you will have difficulties in raising your hand, uh, raising your arm and all of that. So that's also another cause of um, sleeve issues whereby you won't be able to raise your hand. Okay, so that's, that's about that. Now, looking at this um, block, bookies block, if you can see my cursor, uh, uh it's on the front up you can see the distance here it looks so small right and the hip here looks so it's it's fine but we are looking at the connection from up to hp this is looking this line is looking too slanted this looks not too bad the back one up to hp back line is not that bad but this looks too slanted if you look it, if you compare it to what is on the hip, right? So there's something you can do with this. Okay. 
So if you all read page, I've said this several times, page 22 to 33 of um, the dress pattern designing, it's very, very important you all read it. It explains everything about your construction. Please go and read it. Now that I am saying it again, if anyone has any question pertaining to that, I will not respond, but I will refer you to that to that um to the pages that means you've not read except you read and you don't understand then i can further explain but first you must read see i know a lot of you trust what i tell you and all of that it's fine it's absolutely fine and thank you but then you also need to be able to do your own research you need to do your findings and all of that and it's a good thing i'm pointing you towards that direction so that's why I've said, go and read page 22 to 33 and also 33 to 44. But 22 to 33 tells you everything you need to know about this construction. Now for Bookie's block, she's going to move the back, the front UP outward by 1 cm. And do the same on the back, but she's going to move it inward by 1 cm. Inward by 1 cm at the back, that is the back UP, and front UP by 1 cm outward and reconnect to HP. That way, front UP to HP won't look too slanted. Please, bouquet, because I'm doing this on your pattern, you should go and read your um, read page 22 analysis of the ba basic body's construction. Go and read it and read about this part. It's in, I think it's in 12 sections. Read all 12 sections. Everything will be clear. I've seen some people um, ask that um, the across back, something like across back is wider than across chest and vice versa. Go and read that page. It explains everything you need to know about this construction. So for HP also, Sometimes, most times, the three centimeters you used in constructing your body's block, if you've used the hip, is usually added to the front. That is not to say it cannot be added to the back also. It can even be divided equally, 1.5, that is quarter hip measurement plus 1.5 at the back, quarter hip measurement plus 1.5 in front. So you need to be able to see what your block looks like before you can make any adjustments in reality and most times the three centimeters is added to the front and this is fine for um bouquet i can sometimes even if she wants she can move the u um, the hp by maybe by one cm but i wouldn't say that i think the back is fine as it is it's the up we need to move by one centimeter front up by one centimeter outward and back up by one centimeter inward so i think that would be fine we don't need to move the hp for some people you might need to move both a little bit just so that your side seam will be well centralized it is very important the purpose of the up and hp is to make sure your side seam is where it's supposed to be it shouldn't be too much to the front or too much to the back for most people our front block is usually bigger than the back block so that is fine. We already know why because of the bust and you know and all of that. So yeah, basically the UP to HP, front UP and back UP to HP can be slanted, but not too slanted. So that your seam, your side seam doesn't look, you know, awkward. It should be well positioned where it's supposed to be. So I hope this would um, answer some people's questions. So Buki, back to you. I said you should confirm your shoulder seam and your dart. You said your shoulder is 16 and dart 8.5. Can you confirm your NP to SP is 8.5 plus 16? And also, you don't seem to have a back dart. Why is that? Is this correct? Is from here, is from your back NP to SP16. Is this exactly 16? If not, you need to um, construct a dart 
in the middle or you move your SP backward. You have, we have shared everything on the group. And if you don't know where it is, you can, someone can point it out to you or I can point it out to you. Okay, so basically that's it. And um, yeah, that's just it. That's the information I need to you know, pass across to everybody. Okay, all the best and have a lovely week ahead. Bye.